Hi hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this one's going to be about how to turn your PFSense firewall into a wireless access point. I'm sorry I haven't uh, made any videos, but as you can see in one of my previous videos that I just made, my server went down, I had to deal with that, or my lab server anyway. So I had to deal with that, plus I've been really busy at work, guys. Uh, I appreciate your patience on this. I know somebody was asking for this video, so I went ahead and made it real quick. Uh, but anyway, uh, so PFSense doesn't work with every wireless card out there. For example, I had stuck a uh, 3Com wireless G card in there just to see if it would work, and no, it did not detect it. However, it did detect like a generic Realtek card I slapped in there that was wireless in, and so this is on that uh, Zotac box that, that we've been doing these videos on. I slapped a wireless AC card in there. Uh, it's an Intel wireless AC card in there. And uh, it seems to be working. So we're going to find out how well it works. Anyway, you're going to go to NetGate Docs here to see, uh, you know, do some reading up on your, your wireless cards, what they'll work, what they'll do, what kind of modes they'll support, things like that. But just for, you know, I wouldn't do this in a production environment anyway. <clears throat> I mean, it's not really recommended. Maybe a small office with three employees, something like that. Uh, definitely do it for learning and, you know, for your home use, if you want to do a home lab like I'm doing, uh, it'd probably be pretty great for that as well. I mean, it's, you know, there's not, nothing as fun as learning. So anyway, go ahead and check out that website right here. Uh, and uh, it'll tell you, you know, pretty much all you need to know about the wireless stuff. Okay, so let's get into our PFSense router. And yes, I know this, this shows my public IP address. I'm well aware of that, guys. I can go into uh, I can go into the interface and go into the WAN interface, change the MAC address. It changes this number. This number never stays the same. As a matter of fact, it follows whatever IP address I MAC IP address I give it. MAC IP address. MAC I, MAC address I give it. The IP will change. So if I want to go back to this IP address for whatever reason, I just change it back to this MAC. Bam, it's there. So anyway, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to want to go to our interfaces. We're going to go to assignments. We're going to go to our wireless. We're going to add. And right here, see, here's my uh, wireless card. So as you can see, it's an Intel dual band AC3160. Works great. So let's give it a name. We're going to call it Wiffy. Go ahead and save that. Okay, <clears throat> don't do like I did and make this mistake right here. So, which is kind of good that I've made this mistake because it's, it's taught me something. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Uh, go ahead and get rid of it here. So we're going to go re-add this. And I told you some of these cards weren't compatible. So here we have it again, and I added this, this LAN adapter here. But if I go back to this AC3160 here, what we want is access point. And so if we try to change that, it's not going to allow it. So unfortunately, this particular dual band card is not compatible. However, we can continue this video because I had a USB which I just stuck in a USB port. This one will allow us to go ahead and save it as a Wi-Fi access point. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you're not able to save it like this as an access point, you might as well stop because your card is not supported. Okay? So now that we've got that done, let's go over here to our interface assignments. Right here, we're going to add our wireless, our Wi-Fi card. So let's go ahead and add it. 
it has been added so let's go into it I'm going to go ahead and rename it to Wi-Fi we want to enable this interface I'm going to go ahead and give it a static IP I'm going to give it a 172.16.0.1 address with the class C So this card will do N and G. Uh, we want to preserve the common wireless configuration. Go ahead and set a channel. I'm going to set this to channel 11. Go ahead and leave this. Don't really need this. Okay, now here's our access point, our SSID. So we want to give it a name. So I'm going to name it, uh, what am I going to name it? Let me think of a name for a second. How about USB-5? <laughs> or USB Wi-Fi. There we go. Okay, so we're going to enable, we need this for wireless end to work, so go ahead and enable WME. We're going to want to uh, have some protection on it, we don't want it wide open, so anybody on the planet can join into it and download whatever they want and get us in trouble. So, put a password in, super secure. That'll be our password there. Uh, and I think that's it. Go ahead and block and block. Now let's go ahead and save it. We didn't get any errors, so it looks like we got all that right. Go ahead and apply changes. This takes just a second. thing okay once you're done it should say settings applied I had to refresh my mind just sat there forever I don't know why but it seems to have saved everything okay so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go into our DHCP server under services here because we're going to need it to hand out addresses, obviously, or you're not, your Wi-Fi is not going to work. So go ahead and go to your Wi-Fi. We're going to want to enable it. You're going to have to give it a range. You can leave it at default if you want, but I don't want to hand out every address in that range. So we're going to go to 0 0.50 to... Zero dot, no, we're not going to do 192, are we? 72.16.0.60. So 10 addresses. Uh, you can add DNS servers or whatever, whatever you want to do. You don't have to mess with any of this other stuff. Just go down here and click on save. So now we're handing out addresses. And then it's apply. I don't know why the last one didn't do that, but. Anyway, so you want to see that. And then let's check it. Okay, so got the laptop booted up here. And you can see it right here. So I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I had to go through three different Wi-Fi dongles to find one that worked. So that first one, remember when it wouldn't apply changes? Well, it would shut off and it wouldn't turn back on. I tried another Wi-Fi dongle which it detected and allowed me to add it as an access point but then it disappeared and never came back. This one is just some Realtek generic Wi-Fi adapter. Apparently it's working. So, like I said, it's not really meant to do this kind of thing. I mean, you're going to have to scramble to find a USB 
or a internal Wi-Fi device that's going to work for you. So let's go ahead and connect it. Going to have to put our password in. We'll even see if it connects. It's got a good strong signal, so hopefully it will. Okay, there it went. And the signal dropped dramatically when it connected. Okay, so we don't have an internet connection yet but I expected that so let's see what our IP is so we're getting everything is expected we're getting dot 50 which is the first in the list we're getting our gateway DHCP and DNS that is all correct so now we need to go back to the configuration and make a change there so we can actually get access to the internet. Okay, so in order for us to get internet access, we've got to uh, tell the firewall to allow the traffic from the LAN out to the WAN. So let's go to firewall. I'm going to go ahead and create a rule. We're going to click on our LAN. This IPv4 here, we're going to click copy. On our interface, we're going to go down to Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't have that to copy, just go ahead and look at this setting. So, I'm going to go down here. We're going to go to Wi-Fi Net on the source. We're going to change this to Wi-Fi, because I like to describe, put descriptions on things. And then we're going to go ahead and save it. Gonna go ahead and apply changes. So now this rule should now allow us to get internet internet access via our wireless. So again, if you need to create this rule, you just go to rules, and then you go to Wi-Fi, and then you would add a rule, and then just put in mine if you didn't have that LAN. But I don't know why you wouldn't have it. Anyway, maybe you're just doing a like WAN to Wi-Fi, and you're not you don't have a LAN. Your LAN is Wi-Fi. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but hey, for learning purposes, knock your lights out. So let's go back to the laptop now and see if we get traffic. See if we can get on the internet. Okay. With the magic of, uh, because that did not work, I forgot. <laughs> I mean, this, you do need this. But, uh, so, I don't know why I did this earlier, but we need to go to our Wi-Fi here. And go down to the bottom. And take this check out of this box or it's going to block it. It's not going to allow you to get out on the internet. Go ahead and save it. And apply the changes. Now we can go get on the laptop, get on the wireless, and check it. So let me get it set up. Okay. Now that we got it all configured correctly, uh, you can see that we're connected to USB Wi-Fi down there at the bottom. It's showing that we have internet access. So you can ping the Google DNS servers. Let's go ahead, I got a speed test here in Google. Let's go ahead and run that speed test and see what kind of Wi-Fi we get through a USB dongle. That is horrible. So anyway, guys, this is, you know, you couldn't attach more than one person to this USB dongle and expect anything out of it. So you're going to need a pretty decent Wi-Fi adapter in PFSense if you want this to work properly. So anyway, I'm going to go back to PFSense run you through the configuration pages one more time just so you can see the settings so let me go ahead and stop the video and get it connected back 
Okay, we're back at the login screen here of your PF Sense. So, first thing you want to do, just remember, we're just going to run through it real quick. You want to go to your assignments, wireless. You want to add. You want to check it. Your your wireless device, access point. Give it a description. Save it. Then you'll end up with something like this. Then you want to go back to your interface assignments. You want to add it. It'll show up. Your new name will show up here. You'll add it. After that's done, you want to go to your interfaces. You want to go to that new interface. You want to enable it. Give it a static. Uh, don't worry about any of this stuff here. IP address. Class C. You want to preserve. NG. Pick a channel. None of this needs to be set right here. You'll have a uh, SSID. So you want to add, tell it whatever it is. You need this for it to work. If not, it'll complain because it's wireless in. So you want to enable WPA if you want security on it. Just set these here. Don't worry about any of this stuff. You just need this here. Don't check this. Save it. Once you save that, you need to go to your services. Go to DHCP server. You want to go to your Wi-Fi. And you want to add your range. I started from 50 and ended at 60. That's it. Don't change anything else. Save it. Then you want to go to your firewall. You want to go to your rules. You want to copy your LAN here, this one. You just copy it, and then it'll pop up a screen that looks just like this edit screen here. You'll select it because you've copied it. You'll select Wi-Fi. You'll come down here. You'll select Wi-Fi again, Wi-Fi Net, and then you save it. And after all that, your wireless should work. So, and again, I know somebody's going to say your public Wi-Fi, your, your public IP showing. I know. I know. I just go change the MAC address, it'll change it. No big deal. It's not even in the same realm. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. But anyway, guys, if this, if this video was at all helpful to you, uh, please click that like button down there and uh, leave me a comment if you, if you had some additional stuff there. Uh, I'll leave this wireless here down in the description so you can click on it. Uh, yeah, and I would uh, appreciate it if you'd subscribe. That, that would really help me out. Uh, encourages me to make more videos. I know this one got, took a little while to get out, but uh, you know I had some server issues. Busy at work too, so. But uh, somebody else had asked for a uh, certificate from Let's Encrypt, so I'm going to try to get that one up too pretty soon. So anyway, uh, enjoy guys. And I, I want to do one in the, one last thing is I did, uh, well I'll show you. Let me pull something else up and I'll show you real quick. Okay, so I have another one, another adapter here. This is in, a, in another unit. This is a TP-Link plug in with an external, it's a USB plug in with an external wireless antenna. So this one here seems to work pretty good. I'm, I'm getting 12 meg download, so via wireless, and that's just through one channel of it, so <clears throat> there are better adapters out there. Again, I wouldn't do this except for maybe home use, maybe a business with three people in it, you know, something like that. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show you. Y'all have a good day.